if you follow my story so far, you see my first and enduring desire to go home. But I never reached home. I think in the last time I tried, I had an accident. And it was at night. Now, I dream I am driving a car. And I realize my car has no brakes. So this is not good. I see also the lights are off, so it must have been night. I turn on the light, and I turn, I made a, a block a U to, to turn around, and I reach home. I go home, and I see my three younger sisters with a hair cut. Their hair is cut. Short up, round, funny hair cut for girls. They said, Ma cut their hair. So, okay, so now I think I reach home. Hmm? Now that I think of all that I have built up so far in my story, you see, the body has an established home where the emotion was developed, established, and set. That's the physical home we have. But the mind has no home. The mind is always seeking a home. It's always building a home. Therefore, it never reaches a home. This is a good thing to realize. So now, I'll tell you a funny story. Say, a priest, a rabbi, and a pundit go into a bar. Is that funny? Of course it is. These people don't drink in public. Okay. A priest, a rabbi, and a pundit meet God. Is that funny? Of course it is. These people know gods are for people who worship, not for themselves. Come here. I'll lead you to God. Like that. Now, you don't see this funny, yeah? But maybe funny has, a, like what we say, a variety. And we could say that for every feature of life or every way manner people live, right? Say so now, meditation, yoga, enlightenment, Never when you are dead, that's something. All these things have a variety. Depends on the individual's story. But I tell you, as I see it, eh, for yoga, there is no such animal. But if you are restless, something can be constructed for you. Or you could just as, well, just as well go to the local hardware store and find something to do. About meditation, there is no such rider. But if you feel overwhelmed in the life, something can be formulated for you. Or you could go to the pharmacy. There's a lot to choose from. Quench your mind. Now, for enlightenment, there is no such destination. But if you feel you have no deserving ambition, someone is willing to keep your mind. Or you could just watch TV or YouTube. That will keep you feeling filled. And a third eye? <laughs> Now that's funny. Someone said, if you have a third eye, where would you want it? He said, at the back of my head. So I can see what I am leaving. Well, you already have that. It is called memory. But if you have no memory, get a priest or a guru. 
they will tell you where you are. Be amused. I am he who has come. Aten Raj Indra Nath, interpreter. <laughs> 